Welcome to Diplomatic Channel. I am Amarachi Ubani. President Mamadou Buhari was in Jordan this weekend to join other leaders in security discussions. The president said regional cooperation is needed now more than ever to combat the worldwide threat of violent extremism. During a bilateral meeting with King Abdullah II of Jordan, the president stressed that inter-regional cooperation and information sharing were the only ways the evil of terrorism could be curtailed. He thanked the Jordanian king for his constant support and assistance in Nigeria, especially with the recent donation of armored vehicles and other military equipment to further bolster the war against terrorism and insurgency in the country. King Abdullah II advocated broader measures, especially the use of cybersecurity, in checking the influence of terrorists and promised to continue supporting Nigeria in her war against violent extremism. The Akaba retreat was attended by heads of state of other African countries such as Ghana, Guinea, Mali, Niger and Togo and representatives of governments of 48 countries. Speaking of bilateral meetings, the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State John Sullivan was in Nigeria a few weeks ago for the U.S.-Nigeria Binational Commission meeting. My colleague, Mark Belgun, got a chat with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Jeff Onyama, on a number of issues and that meeting. Uh, talk, talk, no walk, no. There was, there, there's been a lot of walk, walk uh, with the United States uh, uh, in our support for Nigeria, not just today, but uh, over the last uh, couple of years and going forward into the future, I would say this is the next step in our walk with Nigeria. It's important for government officials at all levels, senior levels and, and more mid-levels to engage in dialogue together. Um, it took us uh, a little while to get here to Abuja, but it's the first year of the Trump administration. This is an annual binational commission meeting. So it's important for us to sit together, to talk, to uh, renew the trust that exists between our two governments, between our leaders. Uh, it's important for us to look each other in the eye, reaffirm the values that we share, our commitment to a shared future for both of our countries, cooperating on security, our economies, uh, investment here in, uh, in Nigeria. So it was a successful day. Uh, it's necessary for diplomats to talk and government officials to talk. But through our, through our, our engagement, our talking, we're hopeful that uh, others will do, uh, both in, in government and outside of government, do a lot more uh, on the ground here in Nigeria to promote security, trade and investment, develop the economy, and uh, help grow the relationship between our two countries. There are timelines that are forced on us by the calendar, by the electoral calendar, for example. We have there is an election that is scheduled here in 2019, which is a key focus for everyone, for Nigerians and for Americans who are concerned about Nigeria. We want to do all we can to um, support the Nigerian people in their continued experiment in democracy, which every democracy is, including the United States. We have our own challenges. We have not cornered the market on a successful democracy. We're perfecting ours as we speak over 200 years. Uh, Nigeria's experience with democracy is not as lengthy as ours, but just as important. And we're looking to uh, share the lessons that we have learned, work cooperatively, and uh, press forward for what we believe is uh, a bright future for the people of Nigeria and for the relationship between the United States and Nigeria. So there will be progress. I, uh, I'm here. My presence here is a reaffirmation of our commitment to make progress in that relationship, not just talk about it. Uh, we haven't set firm deadlines for all of the long list of things we're going to do. That will depend on uh, other parties uh, and their actions. Uh, but uh, our commitment is firm, and it's, uh, it's sealed in writing in that, uh, that communique that we signed. So we're looking forward to, uh, to doing a lot more work through, uh, through our great embassy here, our mission in Nigeria and in Washington. Uh, the U.S. government, from President Trump on down, President Trump has spoken uh, to, uh, to the president of Nigeria. We are very committed to this relationship and working hard to improve it. For example, I mentioned at the, uh, in the press conference just a few moments ago, we're going to establish a commercial and investment dialogue to involve U.S. business, U.S. banks, U.S. financial institutions in a dialogue that will be facilitated by the U.S. government with the Nigerian government and also involving 
Nigerian private sector parties so that we expand the commercial relationship between our two countries, which is extremely important. Our goal is prosperity for Nigeria, prosperity so that uh, the young children of today who have been, uh, been victimized by, by ISIS and by Boko Haram will have a profitable future for themselves, will have hope for the future, won't be uh, tempted to engage in violent acts that are, are so destructive. So we're working hard to create those types of commercial opportunities, investment uh, for, the, for the benefit of the Nigerian people, but also for the benefit of the United States, a strong economic relationship with this enormous uh, enormously important country, this, the, just in terms of population, the size of the market, extremely important and o only growing larger and more important over time.